Here is a schematic of the system that we're developing. It's a half aircraft model that includes a generator, an AC bus with different AC loads, a transformer rectifier unit, a DC bus with different DC loads, and a battery. Breakers connect each of the components to the network. As they open and close during a flight cycle, conditions in the network will vary. We want to analyze this half network under these varying conditions. A full aircraft model would include other components. We have not included them in this half aircraft model, for we only want to analyze the interactions between these components. This is a common practice in the aircraft and marine industries. The goals that we have for our simulation are to analyze this network. We'll want to determine the power requirements for the different components on the network, as well as the power lines that connect them. We'll want to analyze system interactions between the multi-domain components, including electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, and thermal effects. And at a more detailed level, we'll want to perform harmonic analysis. We'll want to analyze the power quality under varying conditions, and look at the voltage and current at different nodes in the network. This set of simulation goals can be best fulfilled with models of varying fidelity. We're going to see as we go through the development process that we will have an abstract and a detailed model. When we look at the simulation results from these variants, we'll see that the results from the system level and detail models match. If we look closely at the simulation results, we can see that even with the dynamics due to the power switching in the detailed variant of our models, that matches the results from the abstract version. This allows us to iterate rapidly at the system level and also perform detail analysis of the electrical system. With this, we can achieve our goals efficiently. Here is the model that we're working with. We have created multiple variants for each component in the network. We will select which variant to use based on the task that we're performing. As we are exploring power generation options, we can substitute in an integrated drive generator, a variable speed constant frequency generator with a cyclic converter, or with a DC link. We can use an abstract or a detailed version of the AC components on the AC network. Similarly, for the DC network, we can use a variant that is detailed, abstract, or one that can includes effects of other physical domains, such as mechanical, thermal, and hydraulic. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. You can see the generator, distribution network, and the components on the network. The model is currently configured to run with the abstract version of the components. The actuator is modeled simply by specifying the active and reactive power that this component consumes. If we configure this model to use the detailed version of the component, the actuator is modeled using an electric machine. We have a permanent magnet synchronous machine, converters and a DC bus, as well as a control system. If we look at the transformer rectifier unit, we can see that it is modeled using transformers and universal bridges that use power electronics. We can also select a variant of this system that includes effects of other physical domains. Here you can see that we have hydraulic pumps, hydraulic loads, and in this component we can see a thermal network where we can see how the behavior of this component varies as the temperature in the system varies. Our generator is modeled using a synchronous machine and we have a control system to specify the field voltage for that machine. The flight cycles are chosen using a MATLAB variable called flight cycle num. And here we can see the data from the MATLAB workspace that controls when the different components are connected or disconnected from the network. This MATLAB plot shows when the components are enabled or disabled. If we configure our model for the abstract version, we can use this script to run this model and test it against three different flight cycles. So you can see we are running flight cycle one, which tests the system under varying conditions. We'll then automatically configure the model to test with a different flight cycle and rerun. And at the conclusion of these three tests, we'll open up a report that shows the results of these tests compared to previous runs. So here you can see in the report screenshots of the model, screenshots of the scopes showing the speed, voltage, and the power generated by the generator, plots against tests previously run, and the results of power quality analysis. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can model an aircraft power network, configure it so that the level of fidelity matches the test that we are going to run, and automatically run tests for different flight cycles and document the results of those tests.